Very ugly. Bunch of crap. Nasty crap. Today in the wood yard, me and Ken are at a wood yard today and we're gonna do wood identification. What to look for and how to pick out different kinds of wood. Here we go. So here we are. Yes, in we a, are here. In, in a wood yard. In a wood yard and it's cold and, and windy I, today. I used to work in a wood yard, so <laughs> I identified wood for a living for many, many years. 30 years. Almost 30 years, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, I worked for the company 30, almost 33 years. And what a lot of you ask me all the time is, you know, how would I identify wood? How do you know what kind of wood it is? Whether it's on a tree form or in a log form or in dried wood, it ain't easy. The easiest way is in the summertime and the leaves are on. Bark. You, you got, yeah, I'm just looking at pieces of wood, which is probably the hardest, hardest. way to learn. Well, I think the hardest probably would be wood that's been processed and drying and turning gray. Well, I mean, if you I... take the bark off, then it's it's harder. Yeah, but when you look yeah. at wood for a living every day, I mean, yeah. I worked at a sawmill too. You're supposed to look at a piece of wood and know what it is, which I can. Yeah. And I, you know, I could, we could go through my lumber piles that we got, and I could tell you what kind of, each kind of piece of right. wood is. So well, we don't have a huge variety here, but I can see, just looking, there's quite a few Different kinds. Different species here. I got yeah. a whole list in the truck there of what we have in Wisconsin. And right. this is this is northern Wisconsin. We don't have all the same species as what Chris has. A lot of you guys from different parts of the U.S. and different parts of the world, for that matter, have different kinds of wood. So this is what's typical to our ear. And you came up with, what, 40 different kinds? I came up with about 40. Yeah, which, which, and I know there's more that I didn't remember. Right, and you're talking some of those, you got three or four different kinds in each species. Right, I mean, like oak, we got... Probably five or six different in the oak family itself. There's Lots. I don't know, yeah. dozens of red oak species in the and red oak oaks. family, and then there's the white oaks, right? And then there's black oaks, which are considered That's part of the red, red oak right. family. It, it gets kind of jumbled. The best thing you can do, number one, is get a book or get an app on your phone because they make an app now that you can actually yeah. scan the bark and yeah, they got an app for it. But it's better, I think, if you study the book and read it, look in your area, your region. And just get out in the woods and start trying to identify trees. Every time I go places, I'm always looking. What is that? What is this? I'm constantly looking yeah, and to there, figure out what it is. And like for me, doing the job that I did, we only allowed certain amounts of certain species in a load. So I had to look at a load and say, oh yeah, there's 10% this and 10% that. Right, and right. So it was my job to know what's on that truck. As right. it drives by in the snow-covered ice, <laughs> it's like, oh, right. and, and a lot of times you're in a machine and you're how far away? I'm watching a guy drive by 50 yards away and I'm like looking, okay, because I'm mean, always looking for the, there's certain guys that always try to smuggle in <laughs> junk more than they should. Right. So, so it's always a cat and mouse game of trying to identifying who's a smuggler. Right, right. So it's, it's just how it is. I think they're going to get away with it, but when you unload them, you know what they have, Well, if right? I unload them, it's like, okay, yeah, you're uh, over your limit on that. And right, don't do that right. again, or you're turning that truck around. Right, so what when we're going to... When you send a loaded semi out of here and he got no place to go, then they pay attention. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through this pile. This is just all hardwood here. This is, and Kenny's yeah. going to point out things to look for on the butts and the bark, and we'll kind of talk about some of the different things here. So we're going to do that right now. No, and then after that, you've got logs picked out yeah. that we're going to go and we're going to identify. Yes. And show. So we got kind of a smorgasbord here. I'm going to try to show you how to identify some of this stuff. It's it's a lot of you're going to say, "Oh, it looks the same." Well, yeah, it does. But there's but little details. There's little things, and a lot of to me is color variations. Like like I was just showing Chris between a hard maple and a saw maple. I got hand warmers in here, so my hands are, are <laughs> hanging on to them because it's uh, zero out here and it's windy. windy, and my hands are numb, so looks like I'm talking like a puppet I am because I got hand warmers in my gloves. So what do you got? Okay, so this is hard maple, also known as sugar maple. And why? And rock maple also. Well, some people call it that. I, I've never heard that term until your channel. But well, lots of, that's This is what everybody wants for firewoods, hard maple. That's, it's really good. You can cut it and burn it in the same year. And, and it puts out excellent And this coal. is a small one. Show me yeah. a big one. Uh, let's see. I'm looking around here. Right here. This is a bigger hard maple. This is hard maple. Hard maple. It's hard maple. So the difference... This is hard maple. See, it's, no, that's snow white. There's not even a heart on it. Yeah. So now the hearts are more irregular like this one. Right. And soft maple so looks soft more maple, like... These three right here are all soft right maple. Here. They got that. They have a very distinct... And it's a little bit more pink. 
in the in heart? heart, and it's whiter also. See, yeah, right? it, yeah. See, these are white. You see the, the and then show me a hard maple right here. See right? if there's a yeah color vary. See, that's so a little bit of yellowish to yellowish. it. And this is really white. Yep. And this is this, okay. Here's what I was trying to tell you before. See that little yep. bit of pink right there? Yep. On the so you can see layer. that color. Yep. Soft maple, the real name is red maple. Right. And, and on, underneath the cambium layer here, which you can see this little bit of pink, that's the red you're talking about, red maple. Right. And that's a, a, a real good tell on heart. This is hard, this is soft. Here's a real good comparison. They're about the same size. Yep. You can see that little pink rim on the bark there. Yep. And the heart is, is a little bit different color. And this is more of an orangish rim right, on hard maple. Right, And it's, the wood itself was a little more yellow to it. Right, what I always notice is the white maple has more of a, a round heart, like these here. Whereas the, the, the soft maple and the hard maple is more of an irregular, like yep, here yep. and like this. It's, it tends to, kind of tends to do a different pattern. Yeah, like pattern. see here, this is hard maple. Yep. It has a different pattern to the heart. But see now, here's a hard maple with a nice round heart. Yep. yep. It's not, it's not 100%. You can tell it's by a, the edge of the bark. It's a kind of a, a I don't know, guesstimate. Yep. So and what's you, this? See, you see this yep. real smooth? That's a young soft maple. Young soft maple, yep. But see now, this is a young hard maple, and look at the difference. It's it's rougher. It's a lot still, lumpier, but, but, rougher. Yep. yep. Definitely different. So right there's the soft. Okay, right here, right here obvious. Now anybody can see this. That is paper birch. All or or white otherwise birch. known as white birch. And then let's show me a yellow birch. Oh, uh, let's I saw see. One here just a yeah, while they're ago. in here. They're in here. I just, I gotta see one here, someplace. I know I saw them right up there. Is one where? Oh, right wait. up there. See that triple? It's a crotch. It's a triple yeah, crotch right here. Right there. See right the there. yellow? The yellow There's one up here part. too. There's the bottom of one of them. Yeah, that. yeah. Right that's a bigger. Yellow. That's a yellow birch right there. So it actually is yellow. It is yellow. And so the bark is quite different, as you can see compared to this and right. the yellow birch is better right better better they like it at wood. the mill yeah the mill that i used to send wood to they loved yellow birch it's a very long strong fiber they said they would make all their paper out of yellow birch if they could get pure yellow birch they'd be happier in hell and it's, it's a better very firewood because it has higher btus yep. and it's denser yep and it stores better too it doesn't get turned to mush as fast as yep. white birch you know, right? here's some more white birch right here right here yeah i just pulled out yeah it'll have that it's like that. Yep, that's white birch. Everybody knows what that is. If you can't identify that, you're blind. Northern yeah. red oak right here. Yeah, northern red oak. Northern red oak, that's what we have around here. That's a fairly common. It's it's really very good fire. It splits really nice. Yeah. I just saw one, it was really pink. Oh, right here. There's a small one there. See how pink that is? Yeah, yeah, it's very pink. There's another one behind it right there, same one. Yeah, it probably came out of the same tree, but yep, see, right now look at the bark, it's fairly smooth on yep, it. Yep, yep, this is one right here, one right here. Okay, you know, here's one a lot of people don't have, don't see. This is ironwood. Right, and that's a pretty good and size And out one east, too. I guess they call that hornbeam. Yep. And that's really good firewood. That's better than hard maple or oak. Yep, very good And stuff. it doesn't get much, much bigger, bigger than, than that. that. Right. You can see how big that is, according to my hand there. It, it's, it doesn't get super big. No, I've seen them bigger, but that's, about the average normal size of a, a good one, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that looks very comparable to this. And that's white ash. And actually, no, that's black ash. Black ash, yeah. So here's another black ash down here. Yep. I'll try to find two. I'm trying to find two that are side by side here so you can a get a white and a black. A white mean? and a black. Um, like right here. This is this is white or black right here. Right, let me see the bark. Man, I don't know. That's that's a big one. Whatever. That's white ash. That's white ash. Right yeah. There. At least this is white ash here. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I'm looking. I'm looking for a black ash right, right here. Here's black ash right here. This is black ash. This, here's another black ash. So it's see got how, more see how of dark a, it is, and the and the and the texture on it is a little different too. Yeah, the and white. What's the, and what's the difference on the bark? It looks more like a softer. Softer yeah, bark. the the but come down here is a, the white ash. She's got these bigger, deeper flutes, fluting they call it in the bark. Yeah. yeah. Whereas black ash is more smooth like that. Like this. Right. Yep. See, and I didn't even know that. I just called ash ash because no. I really never knew. Well, we also have green ash in Wisconsin, farther south. We don't have any green ash here. Right. But down where you are, you do have green ash down in your country. Right. But I, it looks so much like white ash. I don't think I could tell without. 
If it was just a piece of wood, I don't think I could tell. Yeah. So here's basswood. Oh yeah, see that's got, the, the texture on it is quite different. It's the, real white and the bark is very stringy. It comes off in big sheets when it dries. Yes, yes. So here's a, here's a cherry right here. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And see, when you're looking just at the ends, it looks like an oak. Yeah, so here's a cherry up here. Yeah, there's a cherry. You can and see that's a really an orange cherry. That one's a cherry, yeah. But compared to that red oak that we looked at before, okay, so I'm sure it's just red oak right here, how pink that is compared to that cherry. They do look similar. Yes, they do. And it, depending on how long it's been cut. You know, when stuff is fresh cut, like this wood is pretty dang fresh. Yeah. Um, it changes. You give it about a month or in a summer when it's hot, the color changes right. over time. And as the wood ages, it gets harder and harder and harder. And so if it's all like, you're looking at a bunch of gray firewood in a pile, it's like, I don't know, it's wood. Yeah, when it turns gray, it does If there isn't harder. a little sliver of bark on it, it's like, who knows what Sometimes I even have to split a piece open or pick it up or smell it or yep, yep, lick I it. Yep, I do too. Means, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. you gotta, you gotta taste something. it. Like, here's another basswood right here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's different texture. You can That's see that it's all the variety we got in this pile i don't see now this one right up here what is this right here this right here that's ironwood that's what i thought i didn't want to say anything because yep. i didn't want to say yep. it sure looks like ironwood that's ironwood so i think we covered everything in this pile i i don't see any other variety here and this is the most common variety that we have in this area you get a lot of these these kinds we just talked about right right so this is all this is all just pulp now right, here's the basswood again, right? Yeah, that's basswood. Yep. This is basswood here too. Yep. Yep. Here's some yellow birch here. You get a side angle on that. Oh yeah, there you See go. See that there's stringy yellow birch. yellow birch there? Yeah, that's yellow birch. So here's some more basswood right here on the end. Yeah. And basswood is good firewood, but it burns real fast. Um, it's lightweight wood, doesn't put a lot of BTUs up, but it dries real fast, burns real easy. It's it, good campfire they do, wood. They do like it for, for making paper. The problem is the bark comes off in big sheets and it, it, it jams up all the conveyors in the mill and they just hate right. it. The bark just, just, just kicks their butt. Is locust like that too? That I don't know because we don't have locust. Yeah, we do. I cannot identify a locust because we don't have it here. Well, That's one thing that I've never... Never had any dealings with. No, nope, right down here is some more paper birch or white birch. White birch, yeah. So here's right, here's another this birch. This is another black ash now. This is a bigger black ash. Yeah. And see how it doesn't have them deep fluting in the bark yeah. as much? Yeah, it's a smoother bark. Softer, softer and bark. It, and it grows it grows more in low ground swamp areas. Right. <clears throat> so go over the hard maple, soft maple thing again. Okay, let's see if we can find two together side by side so you can get a variety here. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's... Right here, soft maples. Right here, they have the round, okay. real round. Yep. These are all soft maples, real round center hearts. But so this is hard maple here. And the hard maple, yep, because it's you know, more if you of stand a... stand back a little yellow. bit, I don't know if you can tell the color difference. Yep. This is oh, real yeah. white, this is more, more of a yellow. Absolutely, yeah, you see There's right a color over. difference. And the hearts are always more irregular like and this. And as the wood ages over time, it changes color different. The yeah. hard maple gets more orange yeah. than the soft maple will. Right, right. And you far know, this is all as far as BTUs, a lot of people don't know there is a difference. Soft maple puts out about 20,000, I think. Uh, or 20, yeah. It's 20 on BTU scale, and hard maple is like 25 or six. Yeah, it's quite So it bit. is better wood. It, yeah, it is, it is better. It, it lasts well, longer. it's harder to cut too. Oh, it's really hard on the saw. Like in the winter now, when it's below zero, you're cutting in and out. It's just like, well, like Chris was saying, a rock maple. It's, it's like a rock. Yeah, it it's, is. It's hard on the saw. I broke a lot of chains when it's below zero. Yeah. You lay into that, bing, there goes your chain. Yeah. All right, well, let's go look at some logs you got laid out over on yep. the other side. We got, we got some logs he picked out from the piles that are a lot of different stuff. And we can look at the tops of the logs. We're going to go do right. that now. So now we're at a different part of the wood yard. And Kenny pulled out all these logs you see here. And we're going to go over, kind of show you the sides of them. He's going to talk about these. So there's all kinds of really good examples here. So here we go. Okay, we're going to go down the line here. Now I had these three laid out together. This is a uh, black ash. It looks very similar to this, which is um, <clears throat> ironwood. Yep. Now, if you look at the ends of the wood, it's, there's a tell on that, plus the bark. 
This is the one that so we didn't find in the other pile. Else? I can see the difference. Describe what that is there that we're looking at. Well, the heart. This is yep. the heart. It's got a bigger, kind of a pinkish heart. Yep. And the iron, the iron wood usually got this little tiny, tiny, yep. And this is one we didn't have in the other pile. This is elm. Yep. Now we've got two or three different kinds of elm in Wisconsin. I cannot tell them apart. All I can tell you, this is elm. Yeah. There's slippery elm. Rock elm, Rock elm and American elm. American elm. Yep. But I don't I cannot tell them apart. I can when there's leaves on there's a couple Okay, now here's aspen. Yep. This one and this one, both aspens. So no, this one? is a butt cut of a tree. That's rougher bark, and this is higher up in the tree to get smoother. Yep. So quaking same tree. Qu quaking aspen is a, the real name. We also have big tooth aspen and it's, it's called and we call aspen popple here. Don't ask me why. This is what we call it. Yeah. So this but, is this is quaking aspen. This but, is white popple. It's, it's not yellow popple. Which same tree, but totally different looking. Totally bark. different looking bark. And when it's real young, all the bark looks real smooth. Real green. smooth. Like you look at stuff like out west, it's it's unbelievably smooth. Yeah. They call them quakies out out west. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now here's something that's. This is a, a cedar. Yeah. See that peely bark on it? Yeah. Very rough texture to the cut. Well, and that's because this was probably slashed or something yeah. with a slasher probably. But it's very soft wood. Yeah, that's it's nice kindling. Right, very good kindling. And actually this is a white cedar because we also have red cedar. And that'd be red in the heart, right? Um, well, see when we were kids, dad always called it juniper, juniper but, but it's, it's red, red cedar, cedar is what right. it is. Right. Now this is balsam fir here. Yeah. And I got next to it is white spruce. And we have white spruce here locally, black spruce, and then of course in town we have Norway spruce, which has them big long cones on it. That's not native though, correct? That's not a native tree, but in town you'll see a lot of it planted. We might so be a lot balsam, of nice. balsam fir, and actually I've seen a balsam branch here. There was one laying right here. This is balsam right here. Oh yeah, there's a, some needles, real That's soft what, needles. Yep. And in this area where I live, there's a lot of wreath makers. This is what they use for making wreaths, Christmas wreaths. Christmas trees are real popular here. No, this so is white ash. Yeah, real irregular alligator looking kind of bark. Okay, so we, we kind of identified it over a pile, but see, yeah. here's the white ash. And I'll go but all the way back to the end over there. That's black ash. Right here. Yeah, it's real smooth. Much, much smoother bark. And it, it differs on the age of the tree, too. As the tree gets older, it changes. Right, and then back here's to the... The other ash. Now this one's which one again? That this is white, white ash. White, that's what yep. I thought. Okay. And black and or smooth. We ID'd this in the pile. There's white birch, yellow birch. Yeah, white birch and then yellow birch. And yellow birch, this isn't a good example of yellow birch. It's kind of mangled it's up. It's kind yeah. of mangled, but it's usually fuzzier and has more of the, the bark peeling off, but it's definitely yellower than the white birch. Okay, so here's your cherry again. Yeah, piece of cherry. You can see by the end it's got the yellowish, I mean the orangish center. Okay, now these two are both soft maple. This is a butt cut. Yep, you can see that's the And flare. here's this higher the, up in the, the tree. This is the flare right here. You can see the moss growing on right. it, and this is the flare where the root came out. Right, and here's a younger tree here, smooth, or, or real top. smooth. Or, or, or and I don't top. know if you can see that pink color. See that pink there? Yep. That's what I was telling you about before. See that pink right here? There, it's real obvious there. That's, yeah. a, that's a tell right there. Right. That's one of the little things you look for. Okay. Here's a basswood. Yeah. Which we ID'd over there in the other pile. Yeah, and that's come with the bark comes off in big sheets. Basswood's very popular for people that do carving of decoys. Very popular. And these are both hard maple, just a two different sizes. Yep. A little smoother bark. See, and now I'm starting to see the difference in the maples. Because I, I had a hard time. We don't have hardly any hard maple. You get all soft maple down by yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, hard is definitely, definitely different. Now that I can see this and this younger one. And see this in the in the how the hearts are more irregular. And what's next? This here? is northern red oak. Yeah, and that's really different than the red oak we have. It's much smoother bark. Ours is much rougher than this. So I think it might be two different species of, of red. Yeah, it is. That, it is. Definitely. I just don't. So it's just northern red oak and this ours is, is what? northern red oak. This is different than what you get down there. Yeah, but the, the center looks the same though. The wood itself looks very very similar. Okay, so what's next here? here? That's a red pine. Yeah, very flaky, very flaky bark, and it's reddish. Yep. yep. You know, look at the also ends, it's, and it, the color is a show too. Yep. And this is something we didn't have before either. This is tamarack. Yeah, or also called larch, correct? Yes, larch, tamarack, 
And this stuff is very good for lumber because it's very water resistant. Isn't that correct? It lasts well, a long time. Well, I don't know. It's That's what I've heard. Pulp. How is it for firewood? Do you know? Because I've never it burned it. It burns hot. They say it burns real hot. But being that it's... And this is a, I don't know how you describe it. It's its a—it's not an ever, it's- It loses its needles. It's a, yeah, they lose their needles in the winter time. They, so they, it, you can't really call it an evergreen because right, it's not. Right, they turn they turn yellow. In the fall. And the, and the needles, needles fall, fall off and then they regrow real bright green in the spring. Yep. And they get darker. Okay, so go down the line, identify these as we go with your stick. Well, okay, these three here are tamarack. These four here are red pine. Northern red oak. These two are hard maple, sugar maple, same thing. Yeah, or this rock. Is what, this is where the syrup comes from. Yeah, or rock maple. But you can also get, what well, they say, it's 40 gallons of sap for one gallon of syrup. Okay, now this is basswood. Yeah. Now these two are soft maple. You can get the sap out of these two, but it's like 60 or 70 gallons of sap to get one gallon of syrup. So right. it takes a lot more sap to get the amount right. of sugar out as you do a sugar maple. Right. Cherry. Cherry, yep. Yellow birch, white birch, white ash, white uh, spruce. I couldn't find any uh, black spruce. I just couldn't find any. We might be able to ID some in the woods. Balsam fir, cedar, um, popple. These are both popple. Uh, quaking aspen. Some people are going to nitpick everything, yep. but we got our local names. This is elm. Like I said yep. before, I don't know what kind of elm. Somebody will let us this know. This is iron, iron wood, wood, also called hornbeam. I've heard it called that out east, they say that. Right. And this is black ash. Now there's something in this row that I didn't have, and it's gonna be hard to tell, but these here. Yeah, I recognize what it is. It's these are pine. these are all white pine, well, yeah, not this are. one. But see that white sap ring around there is a big tell. Yep, yep. That's a big tell. And there's no bark on it, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, there's no bark. But here, no, this is red pine. You can yep. see the, you can see the pine, bark. You can see by the bark, yep. These, these are these are some big old nasty, ugly spruce. So these are ones we're going to get rid of, right? Because they're, I mean, you guys don't want them. You right, no, this is junk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, looks like junk. Yeah, boiler yep, wood. see by that, that's spruce, you can tell. These yeah. are big, ugly white spruce. Yeah, very ugly. Bunch of crap. Nasty crap. So there you go. We walked around, showed you a little bit of stuff in the piles and the stuff Kenny pulled out, which is very interesting. There's lots more to show you, but that's a lot all at once. This time. is just a small Yeah, sample. we went through uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right, ten, eight, ten. What do we get? About 20 different kinds? Of? Yeah. Which yeah. is out of about half. Over 40 yeah. to go. I mean, right. But these are the main ones that you that the wood yards get yeah. for paper anywhere yeah, around here. Yeah. In this area, these are the main ones. Right. And there's others, but that's the main ones. Now, tomorrow's video, we're going to go out into the woods and walk around and try to pick out standing trees and try to identify them and show you what to look for. We're and look at try the, to. Try to. We're well, going to going identify to. Well. them. <laughs> right behind us here. It's some box elder, which is junk. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a member of the maple family, maple family and it puts yeah. out more BTUs than people think. It's like 18 or 19. No, it, it burns. Yeah, it's, it, it dries wood, fast. All yeah. wood burns, what yeah. you have in your area. Right, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you learned something. I did, it's interesting. I'll be watching this, because the more you watch, the more you learn. Right. And uh, that's what you need to do. Watch this video over and over and over. Yeah. <laughs> Poke the buttons and all <laughs> that. Poke the right? buttons and all that. That's it for today, folks. You know what to do. Hit the buttons. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Good night, Irene.